Hi everyone, okay, it's Natalie Kling and we are still on day one of the Bedrock Protocol because there is so much that you have to actually prepare in order to begin. And one of the key elements here is what um, Donna Gates refers to as the uh, coconut kefir. So coconut kefir is made of young coconut water. And young coconut water is extremely nutrient dense, meaning it's got a lot of beautiful nutrients, but it also has a lot of sugar. So what we do is we put in a culture that um, helps to eat up all the sugar so that none of that sugar is uh, wreaking havoc in our systems. And then it also becomes, in that uh, fermentation process, becomes a live probiotic. So this is, I think, probably one of the best ways to get probiotics into the blood and the system of children is to uh, do it through a live kefir, a coconut kefir, meaning that this live probiotic is going straight into the body and being easily absorbed right into the blood, right into the cells, right into the tissues and into the gut, versus buying a probiotic on a shelf in the store where you have no idea what really is still alive in there. I mean, if a probiotic can sit on a shelf, uh, that always makes me feel uncomfortable about its effectiveness. Um, because we know that probiotics continue, if when they are really alive, they continue to ferment, and that we don't want that fermentation process to stop because we want those, those good bacteria to now go into our bodies and eat up all the yeast and the bad microorganisms. So, I'm gonna show you I think how you make young coconut kefir, at least I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing here. So I've got two coconuts here and I just bought them um, at Whole Foods. I'm gonna pour them into the pot. We need to get them to be at about 90 degrees uh, and that's because you want the coconut water to be 90 degrees. Uh, it, at that temperature, it's kind of like a body temperature. It will actually start uh, that fermentation process with the um, with the kefir starter. So I'm going to turn on the oven here, and I'm old school, so I actually have to uh, do it with a with a lighter because we've got this. Oh, there! Actually, it worked just like that. Perfect. Okay, so I've got my now I've got a pot going with my um, coconut water. I've got my thermometer here. It's just a meat thermometer. I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to put it kind of about a medium temperature, and um, I'm going to start taking the temperature of the water because we don't want it to get much over 90 degrees. So here's the thing about coconut water. You can't get just the bottled coconut water. Um, well, you could, you could, but it's not ideal uh, according to the bedrock protocol because it's not alive. It's been processed and so you don't get as much nutrients and you don't get as much um, live bacteria um, or live sugars that are going to then feed on the uh, starter, the, the kefir starter that we're gonna put in. But there are ways around it. Uh, I didn't go too far into it because I'm pretty comfortable using whole coconuts. Uh, we've drank in whole coconut water for a long time. So I'm putting the thermometer in and we're already at 85, already at 90 degrees. So I'm gonna just touch it. Yep, it feels like, wow, that was really fast. Okay, so now I've got my quart jar, which is actually, um, bigger than I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna take the coconut water, which is now at about 90 degrees, I'm gonna pour it into the jar. Now before this video, I did boil the jar to sterilize it, which I think is an important part of the process. Um, turn off the oven. And now I've got my kefir starter. So I bought the kefir starter directly from the website, uh, Body Ecology website, and um, you can do that too. And uh, it comes in little white packages like this. I'm going to now see if I can put you up here for a moment so I can undo the package. Now they say one package to a quart. Now two coconuts only made me two cups of coconut water. So I don't think we have enough to do a whole uh, quart, but I'm going to instead, oh let's see, I got this one. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna use not even half of the starter and see. Now after I do this, you have to put it, you have to um, put the, kefir in a um, airtight container. So we're gonna, so first of all, let's see here. Here's my coconut water. I'm gonna eyeball this and use not, make sure you don't use half. Okay. And then I'm gonna swish it around. And then they say you gotta um, tighten it. So I had sterilized my lids as well, just in a big boiling pot of water. 
I'm gonna screw that on so it's nice and tight. Okay, so this is going to be supposedly the magic potion that starts to really clean out and heal the guts of my kids. So let's see if that works. We've now got to keep it at at least 75 degrees. My house is pretty cold. It's been about 62 degrees right now. So I'm going to wrap it in towels and then I'm going to put it um, somewhere. I was going to put it in the oven, but probably not wrap it in towels and put it in the oven. <laughs> Maybe uh, wrap it in towels and put it in a, in a cabinet. Um, to try to keep it warm and then I'll check in with it and make sure it's staying at a nice warm temperature because you want, again, you want that fermentation process to happen. So coconut kefir, pretty simple so far. Let's see if it works. It's got to now ferment for 24 hours. So we'll check back with it then. Okay, you can, again, you can follow the whole journey here uh, for uh, implementing the Bedrock Protocol, a healing diet for our kids at natalieKling.com on the blog there. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.